and we're talking about using essential oils internally. Essential oils help to basically nourish and balance and regulate your digestive system. They improve upon the whole process. So those situations are a great time to bring in essential oils and use them. You don't have to use them internally, but I think with those kind of things that are related to digestion, essential oils used internally are a little bit more effective. And the way that we do that is two ways. We're actually gonna use it in a capsule form or we drop it right into water. So I mentioned this in one of the other videos that we use essential oils in a glass of water where you can just add that in and dilute it and drink it. And so remember one or two drops max, that's all we're using. You're talking about a very, very concentrated essential oil. So something that is one drop of oil takes about 50 to 70 times its plant material or maybe even the skin of a, a citrus fruit. So we're talking about extremely high concentrations here. So keep that in mind when you're using your oils internally. One or two drops is all it takes. One of the most common essential oils used internally is oregano oil. So you might have bought this at the store once before in a capsulated form. You can easily find it in something like this, pre-made, uh, maybe a gel capsule or a small one like this. And they usually contain one drop of an essential oil and some carrier oil, like maybe a coconut oil or olive oil or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own today, super easy. And a capsule is really so that you don't have to taste it. This is where capsules were invented. So I have here a veggie capsule. They can be made out of gelatin or they can also be made out of a seaweed vegetable, which is I think agar agar. It's a seaweed that, uh, you know, they basically melt in shape into these. So they melt really fast when you take them. So all you do is open it up and then you can use these for powdered herbs or essential oils or whatever it is you wanna take in. But remember, dosage is important. And with essential oils, we're talking about one drop. So this is a pretty big capsule and one drop isn't even gonna come close to filling these capsules up. So just so that you know that, it's gonna look kind of empty. Another thing that you should know about using the essential oils in these capsules is that you cannot make them in advance they will melt the capsules. So you only do this when you're ready to take it, but believe me, when you're taking oregano oil, you're gonna be really glad that you didn't use um, just the you know drop in water gel because it's really hot, really strong, really spicy. I'll talk more about oregano oil and its properties in another video, but here is how you do this. So you're just gonna take that cap off, one end of the capsule, you're gonna use the bigger of the two ends, and then hold the dropper, right up to the top. So you're making sure every essential oil bottle should look somewhat like this, where there's an orifice reducer on the top. And that makes it so that it limits it to one drop of oil at a time. Boom, one drop. And that's all you need. You put the cap back on, lock it into place, and it's done. So remember, you have to take these right away. You can't make a pile of them and store them. They're a one-time deal. So there you go, just like in the store, that's how you make essential oil capsules at home.